Hey friends, welcome back to Bitfilms. I'm your host Sarthak and you can also call me Ankur. This is a channel where I talk about the Laravel and the cool thing about the Laravels. So, in the last episode, we have done the basic middleware. That means how we can use a middleware, how to create a middleware, how to assign a middleware or finally how to register middleware. In this episode, we are going to learn about something advanced stuffs of the middleware. So let's get started. For that, I will go to my sublime text and here we are. We have implemented an about page with a test middleware. So let's imagine you have a about page and I will make another route by saying it as let's say contact and in contact i also have this test page so let's quickly create a page called contact page so contact dot blade dot php okay and again the same stuff copy paste we have done contact okay now let's see this page and for that i have to go to this contact and you can see this is redirected to home page so for checking the contact page just remove this middleware for time being now hit enter no not enter just go to contact page and yep we are under contact page so that means our middleware is working fine for this also so what i want to tell you that you have two routes and in each of the route you assign a middleware what if you have many of the pages many of the route if you have let's say 10 or 20 or 50 route then is that feasible to assign middleware to each of the route no that's not the correct way so for that let's create a controller for that i will go to my command prompt and go to the folder where i have installed laravel so here i will say php artisan make controller and the controller name let's say again the test controller so our controller is created this is our controller let's create two function one is called about and other is called contact and each of them has the view return of the same kind that means here i will say view return of about and here i will say view return of contact now i will make some changes in these routes so i will say obviously test controller we all know these things so this is about and in same way we can say contact okay so let's delete this okay so we have our route so look at these these are very much clear so what you can do you can assign middleware here like we have done in the last episode so let's check that is that working or not and yep it is working so but i don't want to do this so for that i will go to my controller and here i will create a construct construct and in construct i will say this middleware and the name of the middleware and it's done that means by using this construct you have assigned the middleware to each and every function inside this test controller so if you have even hundred of the function in this controller then each of the function already have this test middleware so let's quickly check out that let's go to contact page and yep you are redirected to home page now the second thing is that what if you want to assign uh, more than one middleware so for that you can just give it a name let's say test2 so obviously we doesn't have test2 middleware but you can get the idea how to assign multiple middleware but again there is a problem what if you want to assign four five let's say test3 test4 and many others okay so the problem is here that if you assign more than 
टू थ्री फोर मिडल वेयर देन इट विल बिकम मोर लेंदी एंड टाइम कंज्यूमिंग एंड ऑल्सो लेट सपोज यू वॉन्ट टू यू वॉन्ट टू अप्लाई दीज फोर मिडल वेयर इन योर अदर कंट्रोलर्स ऑल्सो यू हैव टू कॉपी एंड पेस्ट ऑल दीज थिंग्स एंड अगेन इट इज टाइम कंज्यूमिंग इंस्टेड ऑफ डूइंग दिस वॉट यू कैन डू यू कैन क्रिएट अ group of middleware and assign a name and by calling a single name you are applying many of the middleware so let's see what is this instead of applying all these middleware simultaneously i will just say test and for creating a group of middleware middleware group go to kernel and you can see here this is a middleware group you can see this is middleware groups so you can assign a middleware group let's assign a middleware group so we can say test and this middleware will include many of the middlewares so we have middleware here so let's copy this middleware from here and paste this here and actually we have this middleware so delete from this we have this middleware only we doesn't have other middleware so let's test this group by calling this test group so we have already created a construct where we have implemented our middleware let's check that middleware so we will again go to about page and we will redirect it to this home page that means our middleware is working so if you have other middlewares let's suppose you have a middleware of test 2 and test 3 also so many of these middleware come here and you will have only one word for these lots of middleware and by using this one word you will assigning many of the middleware simultaneously isn't that good practice so this is the way of doing the laravel things so you have seen that we have created a middleware so let's delete this okay so you can see there is already web middleware is created by the laravel so this includes subtitle binding csrf token and many others so this web middleware group is already assigned to each and every route for that let's go to our providers and inside provider you can see route service provider that means this service provider is take care of the routes in the route service provider you can see the route is assigned a middleware and middleware name is web and this web middleware is actually a group of middleware so you can see all these middleware are assigned here so if you want to assign your middleware each and every route so you can just do this okay now what is happening here this middleware your new test middleware is already assigned so you does not have to assign this middleware okay here because your middleware is inside the web group middleware so it is already assigned to the route so you doesn't need to assign any other specific route okay so let's check that route for that i will go to about page and you can see it is not redirecting why because actually we have assigned the middleware to each and every class each and every route so it is also assigned to the home page and it is creating a loop so that's why the browser hang out and it says local host redirected too many times that's why it is not giving you the proper home page okay so let's delete this otherwise this will not work i think you get the idea how the group middleware works so we can implement all these things now okay so this is the way of creating a middleware inside a group now let's suppose if you have a user and you want the user to access a specific page after signing in so let's see how will we create that logic here so for that i will just delete this construct and inside here i will create a middleware on about page only and obviously the test middleware 
so i want to say that whenever user is sign in then this uh, about page will be visible otherwise will be not visible so for that let's suppose uh, for demo purpose we just say name of the user so i will say sarthak inside our middleware we will just use our model that is inside app model is user now i will delete all these things and i will say user and i will get the user okay by finding with user id so here you can find the user or you can just check out the session for the user okay you can see that here we have provided a parameter for the route so we will catch that parameter here by typing here uh, let's say name okay for the demo purpose the name is comfortable so what i want to say that if if name that means the name given by the parameter is equal to the user name then it's okay to go inside this the requested page otherwise else throw an exception or i can do it a better way uh, by saying if it is not equal to the user then throw an exception and that exception says your name is not sarthak okay so let's see let's go to our about page and see what happened so i will say about and uh, and yep we are on the about page why because in my database i have a user named sarthak okay so let's go to the web page and here you will just provide that middleware same the test middleware and now i will say ankur and now when i go to contact page let's say contact page you can see here the exception says your name is not sarthak but we, when we are on the about page it will land me on the about page we can access the about page but not the contact page so we have restrict the user for going to this page by using our test middleware so you can see that whatever you logic has that can be implemented easily with the help of middleware we will meet in the next episode before that please subscribe to my channel if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and please follow me on facebook twitter and instagram and share this video with your developer friends so that everyone get the knowledge of cool thing that is the level so don't forget to subscribe we will meet in the next episode till then bye bye